Diahan Carroll was an American actress, singer, model, and activist. She rose to prominence in some of the earliest major studio films to feature black casts, including Carmen Jones and Porgy and Bess. In 1962, Carroll won a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical, a first for an African American woman, for her role in the Broadway musical No Strings. In 1974 she starred in Claudine alongside James Earl Jones for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. In 1978 she guest starred in the Star Wars Holiday Special, singing This Minute Now, as a hologram created by a virtual reality machine. Her title role in Julia, for which she received the 1968 Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series, was the first series on American television to star a black woman in a non-stereotypical role, was a milestone both in her career and the medium. In the 1980s, she played the role of Dominique Devereaux, a mixed-race diva, in the primetime soap opera Dynasty. Carol was the recipient of numerous stage and screen nominations and awards, including her Tony Award in 1962, Golden Globe Award in 1968 and five Emmy Award nominations. She died on October 4, 2019, from breast cancer. Early years Carol Diane Johnson was born in the Bronx, New York City, on July 17, 1935, to John Johnson, a subway conductor, and Mabel, a nurse. 152 While Carol was still an infant, the family moved to Harlem, where she grew up. 152 She attended music and art high school, and was a classmate of Billy D. Williams. In many interviews about her childhood, Carol recalls her parents' support, and their enrolling her in dance, singing, and modeling classes. By the time Carol was 15, she was modeling for Ebony. She also began entering television contests, including Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts, under the name Diahan Han Carroll. 152 After graduating from high school, she attended New York University, where she majored in sociology, 152, but she left before graduating to pursue a show business career, promising her family that if the career did not materialize after two years, she would return to college. Career Carol's big break came at age 18, when she appeared as a contestant on the Dumont Television Network program, Chance of a Lifetime, hosted by Dennis James. 152 on the show, which aired January 8, 1954, she took the $1,000 top prize for a rendition of the Jerome Kern, Oscar Hammerstein song, Why Was I Born? She went on to win the following four weeks. Engagements at Manhattan's Café Society and Latin Quarter nightclubs soon followed. Carol's film debut was a supporting role in Carmen Jones, as a friend to the sultry lead character played by Dorothy Dandridge. That same year, she was nominated for a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical for her role in the Broadway musical, House of Flowers. A few years later, she played Clara in the film version of George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, but her character's singing parts were dubbed by opera singer Luli Jean Norman. The following year, Carol made a guest appearance in the series Peter Gunn, in the episode, Sing a Song of Murder. In the next two years, she starred with Sidney Poitier, Paul Newman, and Joanne Woodward in the film Paris Blues and won the 1962 Tony Award for Best Actress for portraying Barbara Woodruff in the Samuel A. Taylor and Richard Rogers musical No Strings. Twelve years later, she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her starring role alongside James Earl Jones in the film Claudine, which part had been written specifically for actress Diana Sands but shortly before filming was to begin, Sands learned she was terminally ill with cancer. Sands attempted to carry on with the role, but as filming began, she became too ill to continue and recommended her friend Carol take over the role. Sands died in September 1973, before the film's release in April 1974. Carol is known for her titular role in the television series Julia, 141-151 which made her the first African-American actress to star in her own television series who did not play a domestic worker. That role won her the Golden Globe Award for, Best Actress in a Television Series, for its first year, and a nomination for an Emmy Award in 1969. Some of Carol's earlier work also included appearances on shows hosted by Johnny Carson, Judy Garland, Merv Griffin, Jack Parr, and Ed Sullivan, and on the Hollywood Palace Variety Show. In 1984, Carol joined the nighttime soap opera Dynasty as the mixed-race jet-set diva Dominique Devereaux, Blake Carrington's half-sister. Her high-profile role on Dynasty also reunited her with her schoolmate Billy D. Williams, who briefly played her on-screen husband Brady Lloyd. Carol remained on the show until 1987, simultaneously making several appearances on its short-lived spin-off, The Colbys. She received her third Emmy nomination in 1989 for the recurring role of Marion Gilbert in A Different World. Carol portrayed Eleanor Potter, the doting, concerned, and protective wife of Jimmy Potter, in The Five Heartbeats, a musical drama film also featuring actor and musician Robert Townsend, and Michael Wright. In a 1995 reunion with Billy D. Williams in Lonesome Dove, the series, she played Mrs. Grayson, the wife of Williams's character. In 1996, Carol starred as the self-loving and deluded silent movie star Norma Desmond in the Canadian production of Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical version of the film Sunset Boulevard. In 2001, Carol made her animation debut in The Legend of Tarzan, in which she voiced Queen Law, ruler of the ancient city of Opar.
In 2006, Carol appeared in the television medical drama Grey's Anatomy as Jane Burke, the demanding mother of Dr. Preston Burke. From December 2008, she appeared in USA Network series White Collar as June, the savvy widow who rents out her guest room to Neil Caffrey. In 2010, Carol was featured in Uniglobe Entertainment's breast cancer docudrama titled One a Minute, and she appeared as Nana in two lifetime movie adaptations of Patricia Cornwell novels, At Risk in the Front. In 2013, Carol was present on stage for the 65th Primetime Emmy Awards, to briefly speak about being the first African American nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award. She was quoted as saying about Kerry Washington, nominated for Scandal, she better get this award. Personal life Carol was married four times. Her father boycotted the ceremony for her first wedding, in 1956, to record producer Monty Kay, which was presided over by Adam Clayton Powell Jr. at the Abyssinian Baptist Church in Harlem. The marriage ended in 1962. Carol gave birth to her daughter, Suzanne K. Bamford, who became a journalist and screenwriter. In 1959, Carol began a nine-year affair with the married actor Sidney Poitier. In her autobiography, Carol said Poitier persuaded her to divorce her husband and said he would leave his wife to be with her. While she proceeded with her divorce, Poitier did not keep his part of the bargain. Eventually he divorced his wife. According to Poitier, their relationship ended because he wanted to live with Carol for six months without her daughter present so he would not be jumping from one marriage straight into another. She refused. Carol dated and was engaged to British television host and producer David Frost from 1970 until 1973. In 1973, Carol surprised the press by marrying Las Vegas boutique owner Fred Glussman. After four months of marriage Glussman filed for divorce in June 1973. Carol filed a response, but did not contest the divorce, which was finalized two months later. Glussman was reportedly physically abusive. On May 25, 1975, Carol then aged 39, married Robert Delian, the 24-year-old managing editor of Jet magazine. They met when Delian assigned himself to a cover story on Carol about her 1975 Oscar nomination for Claudine. Delian had a child from a previous marriage. Carol moved to Chicago where Jet was headquartered, but Delian soon quit his job so the couple relocated to Oakland. Carol was widowed two years later when Delian was killed in a car crash. Carol's fourth marriage was to singer Vic Damone in 1987. The union, which Carol admitted was turbulent, had a legal separation in 1991, reconciliation, and divorce in 1996. Charitable work Carol was a founding member of the Celebrity Action Council, a volunteer group of celebrity women who served the women's outreach of the Los Angeles Mission, working with women in rehabilitation from problems with alcohol, drugs, or prostitution. She helped to form the group along with other female television personalities including Mary Fran, Linda Gray, Donna Mills, and Joan Van Ark. Illness, death, and memorial Carol was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1997. She said the diagnosis stunned her because there was no family history of breast cancer and she had always led a healthy lifestyle. She underwent nine weeks of radiation therapy and had been clear for years after the diagnosis. She frequently spoke of the need for early detection and prevention of the disease. She died on October 4, 2019, in Los Angeles, aged 84. Carol was saluted in a star-studded memorial on November 24, 2019 at the Helen Hayes Theater in New York City where she was lauded for her trailblazing work in entertainment.